Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing Statistics for Traders Part 6, Evidence-Based Trading. In our previous videos on Statistics for Traders, we came to appreciate the power of statistical methods to assess several aspects of price action, ranges, volatility, swing high and swing low lengths. The use of the average and standard deviation in combination with the statistical characteristics of the normal distribution. This allows the knowledgeable trader to establish volatility evaluation, potential excursion lengths, profit targets, stop loss optimization, and risk to reward ratios. Also, not only can stats find valuable information about our trading system, but we can apply the same SQN formulas to market conditions. TA Trading When dealing with decisions about how to profit from the market, technical analysts learn to plan trades based on signals, entries and exits based on rules. If X and Y conditions happen, with a stop below this bottom and a profit target at this level. The rules decide bar by bar the estate of the trade. Traders using price action rely on short patterns from 1 to 4 bars aided by support and resistance levels to decide entry and exit points. The predictive approach to trading. A statistical model is different because it uses predictive modeling. It does this by employing mathematically sophisticated algorithms to examine historically derived indicators such as price, volatility, volumes, trends, to identify a repeatable pattern that shows predictable potential. A predictable model could find relations between patterns and a forward-looking target variable. This technique has multiple benefits. The patterns found won't be evident to TA-based trading. The patterns discovered are not apparent to humans. It will include intricate patterns with a lot more statistical significance than a couple of bars and predictive modeling is more friendly to advanced statistical analysis. If the logic is automated, highly sophisticated algorithms can be incorporated into pattern discovery process. How does it work? The predictive modeling also relies on patterns that repeat themselves. The model studies the historical market data and tries to discover repeatable and profitable patterns. This is based on past observations. The model will be able to predict if the market could soon rise, drop, or stay quiet. In the case of price movement, it attempts to find by how much. Indicators and Targets Predictive modeling usually does not work with raw market data. The raw data is transformed into two classes of data, indicators and targets. These new datasets are used to train the model. Indicators Indicators are datasets whose value describe only past information when the system is operating in real time. An indicator will be computable if there is sufficient historical data to satisfy the definition. As an example, we could define an indicator called trend as the percentage change of market price from closed 5 bars to the present bar. If both prices are known, the trend indicator will have a value. Targets Targets are variables that look at the future in time. It behaves as a regression model, which tries to predict the future points based on past points. Thus, targets manifest future price behavior of the market. For example, a variable called daily return could be defined as the percentage from the current open to the next day open, Using historical data, this variable could be computed for all but the last two bars. The key concept. The key idea of predictive modeling is that indicators may exhibit information that could be applied to predict targets. For example, let's consider two indicators, trend and volatility, and one target, daily return. If we provide the model with several years of data and ask it to learn how to predict good daily return from trend and volatility, then we may use it in real time to calculate from the current prices that trend. The figures are shown here. Therefore, based on the current prediction, the market is likely to rise considerably, 16.5%. Thus, we should consider taking a long position. From predictions to decisions. It seems logical to think that extreme predictions are more likely to occur than short ones. If the model predicts a 0.01% rise from tomorrow's session, a rational person would be less likely to engage in a long trade when the prediction is a 5% move up. The intuition is correct. Large predicted moves also have more likelihood to succeed than tiny projections. The most common method to make trade decisions is to comprehend the predicted value to a fixed threshold, taking a long position only when the threshold is surpassed by the long threshold, and taking a short position when the prediction is lower than the short threshold. It seems evident that the magnitude of the threshold is a trade-off between the number of trades and the accuracy rate of the system. Thus, by choosing the appropriate level of threshold, we can decide whether to have a system that trades often with lousy accuracy, or a system with a few trades but is highly accurate. In conclusion, of course this methodology is only applicable through the use of algorithmic trading. It may be out of reach for a normal trader, but the lessons learned here could help us create a similar methodology using just the tools we have understood in previous videos. 
Through the use of statistically based data such as the uprange, downrange, start based intraday ranges, stops and targets, applying signal to noise ratio and SQN computations to different markets, now we can build a consistent trading system that is backed by stats and which is out of the radars of the market makers and institutional traders. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.